YouTube. I hope you had a wonderful day. Today in New York City was 75 degrees. It was a beautiful day. I was able to wear my little jacket. Didn't have to bundle up today. It was a nice day. Today I wanted to talk about Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh my God. So when I was in Mercy College, right before I graduated, which was in my spring semester, I took a class called Serial Killers. And one of the serial killers was Jeffrey Drama. Now I have to tell you, at first I did not want to see it because when you take a class like that, it was my favorite class, one of my favorite classes, and I did get an A, but it was very nasty. Like we learned a lot of nasty things, or very gruesome things. So when I knew that the series was up, I wasn't ready to watch it. I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to give myself time because I can't with the blood and, and with everything else. But actually, for those of you who have a weak stomach, it's not that bad. So that's first of all. And I had to see it because my girl Niecy Nash was in it. And she's an excellent actress. As you know, she was in When They See Us. And she did it again, y'all. An excellent, excellent job. Shout out to the writer of Dama. Like, that is some good ass writing. Like, I aspire to be a writer like that because whoever wrote it, they actually took the time to do the, the research. And um, this series is more than just entertaining, it's very educational. First of all, I didn't know that Dama had, um, was living in a black neighborhood. So the fact that he was living in a black neighborhood shows how strategic his plan was. Um, I don't believe he had mental illness. I do believe that he was evil. Um, I do believe that some people are sent by God, some are sent by the devil, and that's just my opinion. Um, he was sent by the devil to do an assignment, and he completed it. It's, it's that simple. I'm very, when it comes to things like that, I'm very black and white. Um, some people may not agree. Everybody seems to think everything is a mental illness. And I remember talking with an old coworker some years ago, and um, she has said it, and she's like in her 20s. And I was like, wow, that's a good way of thinking. And it's true, it's like, it's, we as a society, we're so um, forgiving that we just wanna say everything is a mental illness. Everything is not a mental illness. <clears throat> and some people are just born evil. It's just what it is. His father taught him how to gut out animals and kill animals. So that's how he knew how to do that. You know, um, it's very disturbing that he would cook them, eat them, save their body parts, dismember them. Um, very, very sad. Um, some things that I already knew about the 14 year old um put a drill in his head and put acid in it and the officers returned him and the same officers who did that they actually um were doing prank calls to the families which is very very i don't even know what to call that like that's just <coughs> that's demonic to just you know the family lost you don't have any empathy like damn like you know, they lost a family member. And then you're gonna do prank calls. You know, that's just, that's wicked. But it was very unfortunate that the majority of his victims were African-American men. And this is why it was under the rug. And if it wasn't for the black man who escaped, we would have never known a Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, the neighbor, she kept calling, her phone calls were ignored. And that's very disturbing. She said over the phone, somebody's killing somebody next door. <laughs> now, I could understand that it would be ignored because it's like they wouldn't take it serious. But it's like, how hard is it to send somebody up there to see what's going on? You know, um, the smell was there, you know, everything. And they finally didn't go into the apartment till the guy got away. Thank God he got away alerted the cops and those cops didn't send him back like with the with the latin boy that was terrible for the cops to 
you know, return him back to Dharma, you know. And da all Dharma had to say is that that was his lover. When you could clearly see that that boy did not want to be with Dharma. He escaped from him, you know. So um, the ending was really good. Um, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. And um, Dama got what he deserved, point blank, period. And for anybody who doesn't agree with it, I don't know what to say. Because if it was your family, you would want him to die in prison too. I think justice was served. Boom. You know, he deserved that. Sorry. Not sorry. Um, you know, it's not just him murdering people. He murdered them for literally no reason. You know, I would have more sympathy for Ted Bundy because at least, like, they rejected him. And that's why. Not saying that he, that's a reason to kill someone. But I would have more understanding because, you know, to understand a criminal, you got to think like a criminal. So with Ted Bundy, and is another serial killer I learned about. He was tall. His, his first name is Ed. He had no social skills. He never had a girlfriend. So he would try to get with a girl. The girl would reject him and then he would kill her. He killed about five college girls. Um, and then he killed his mother. His mother used to um, taunt him and make fun of him. And she cut. he cut her head. So that makes a little sense because verbal abuse is very, um, it hurts. You know, so somebody's constantly putting you down, putting you down, putting you down, and you don't seek help or you don't have an outlet. Yeah, murder could, could occur. Um, I could see that. I could understand that. Um, he was living with her. He was a grown man living with her, um, which that's unfortunate, and that's what he did. Um, that was the, they called him the gentle giant because before his murders, nobody knew him as a bad person but he committed the murders his first name is ed i can't remember the last name and then ted bundy um he was a handsome guy you know um he pretended to be a police officer whatever you know that's a very interesting uh case serial killer um but dama you know he ha he didn't have a reason because just like the series portrayed they was gonna give him some so it's like he didn't have to drug him that's that's what made it so weird the only one that rejected him was the white boy that was the only one that was like because he was trying to get to a concert and he was trying to use dharma as a ride so he was like oh you're a weirdo you need to drive me right now so i could understand how that could make someone angry spur the moment um, but the rest of them, it was like, that was totally unnecessary. You know, that was just, he didn't have to drug. And, um, the second white boy, you know, he was, they was making out, they was in the hotel. He was going to give you some, why you killed him? You know, that's just a demon. You know, that was just so sad. And then the saddest one was the deaf one. Um, there's speculation that they knew each other for a year before he killed him. Some witnesses say that they met that night. But what I don't understand is the series implies that he met these men from one club. All of the men, minus um, the first white boy, that was from on the road, hitchhiking. But the rest of the victims, he went, he kept going to the same club to pick up victims. So the bartender wasn't peeping that. Like, yo, when this white boy take people home, they ain't coming back. You know, he, he didn't peep that. And that goes back to uh, the movie Death by Temptation. She was a demon that was killing people, men. You know, and Jeffrey Dahmer is pretty much the same thing. Except it was more extreme. He was killing them, dismembering them, and cooking them. Um, also, I wanted to bring out... I live in the hood, and it was just so hard for me to understand that he was doing all of that and nobody stepped to him like everybody knew that he was killing these people and nobody stepped to him and blew him away that's the shocking part because i don't think he would have survived in brownsville east new york i don't really <laughs> like let him let somebody like that come over over here and do that 
please he would not have survived after this after the first victim people would have been on to him and it would have been like nah that part was unrealistic to me because how you live in a building full of black people and you killing black people and nobody stepping to you forget calling the police especially back then they ain't gonna do nothing because <clears throat> they don't feel like we important so of course they're not going to do nothing so you know it's just a shame that that was going on and if it wasn't for that last victim running away Dama still would have been probably still killing and it is possible because Samuel Little he was killing from the 70s right on up until 2010 so yes it does happen with serial killers that kill for a long time you know but um it's just sad and it was just, you know, um, I liked how they reenacted the scene of the sister went off on him as she should, you know, the families letting him, letting them, letting him know how they felt, you know, um, also it was disturbing to me that the officers that returned the Latin 14 year old boy to him, um, they got an award, but what about the officers that did their job? And, you know, if it wasn't for them, um, Dahmer wouldn't have went to jail. There was, you know, which is the, the last victim who ran away and went to those cops. Those cops could have easily returned him back to Dahmer, but they didn't. They was like, um, you know, can we check in the apartment? And they didn't have a warrant. And that, that was educational. I learned that in my class and I sort of to see that tonight. The cops don't need a warrant. That's bullshit. They want to check your apartment, they can. Because they had a witness to be like, yo, he ain't no good. He tried to kill me, whatever. That's a witness. So that's why the cops, they use their instincts to say, yo, we need to check this apartment. And then they call for backup. They could have easily turned their head or their nose. But let's give homage to those cops. Those cops should have been awarded. So that's one thing that we have to remember, like, there are some good cops, and those cops, if it wasn't for them, Jeffrey Dahmer still be doing him, possibly, you know. So the neighbor, she did her part too, but it's really more so those cops that stood up and his last victim that ran, and they was like, hold on, let's, let's check this out, you know, and they got back up. And that's when they was like, oh, okay, this is a crime scene, you know, and that's when they found the skulls, that's when they found everything, you know, because he liked to keep memorabilia. He could have gotten away with it if he would have cleaned his apartment, but his dumb self, he had the tools and everything that was in his apartment, so that's why they was able to lock him down, you know, he got sloppy, you know, he tried to drug the boy. He wasn't drinking it so <coughs> good for him that he got away but yeah if you have netflix please 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 watch dharma it's so educational um the lady um glendale uh she was an amazing neighbor um she suffered from and as i'm watching it the writer is doing what exactly what I was thinking because obviously if you go through that you're gonna have PTSD so the whole building was affected when she came back she thought she heard noises when she came back she thought um you know she had to sleep in the lobby and they showed that because nobody could sleep because of what had happened and that's very normal that's very traumatic that um you have someone in the building killing people and everybody hears it and knows about it and yeah you're not gonna be able to sleep you know so it was just very um educational it was very um also about jail the the one who killed dama um he researched him he didn't know about him and he researched him and then the, the upsetting thing is that dama had fans like you had people applauding this man for what he did which is sick <coughs> he they're more sick than Dama is. You know, why would you be attracted to somebody like that that killed innocent people? Like, he was getting money from the fans. They was applauding him, saying that he's the new um, Freddy Krueger. 
it was just like wow you know and then um that part i learned with the um in the library they're not allowed to read certain materials which is like slavery basically they don't want them to know certain things how do you keep a man down don't let him read certain things so that was educational i also didn't know that he killed a deaf boy that that really like hurt my heart that he would stoop so low to i mean you shouldn't kill anybody but somebody that's deaf you know that's really sad you know that's that's really really sad and he knew him for a year like they hung out and stuff like that and just sad that the deaf boy didn't you know didn't know that he was the serial killer and it's just sad that the bartender didn't put two and two together like every time he come in he leave with somebody and they don't never return like he didn't you know nobody put two and two together <laughs> that's the disturbing part you know um it's just this it's just a shame you know but um he wouldn't have survived in brownsville i know that much anybody come over here and killing people and he was killing a lot of people it wasn't one or two people and you could hear the screaming and the sounds and the you know there's no way he would hit. <laughs> he would have never survived the projects because people would have been on him and they would have handled their business ain't nobody calling cops over here they just would have straight <laughs> went to work on him you know so that's just weird to me like a, a, the whole building of black people and that's how you know like he purposefully moved to the hood so he could do that like I really believe that that's why I feel like he's not mentally ill he strategically thought of that he purposely moved to a black area because he knew that that's what he wanted to do and he knew that he could get away with it um you know he knew he could get away with it and my favorite scene is the episode six what is that six six or seven and um it's about the neighbor um cassandra well her name is glenn but her daughter's name is cassandra and the whole episode is dedicated to her and basically um he approaches her and i was very surprised that he didn't kill her because most psychos, if they feel like you snitching, they'll get rid of you. They'll kill you. So the fact that he never attacked her or anything, it shows that his hate was really towards men. That he hated himself, first of all. Um, and I know the LGBTQT month is coming up in June. But that's why, you know, and this is for anybody that hears the sound of my voice. If you are gay, it's okay. I'm not just saying that trying to rhyme, but you have to embrace yourself because when you don't, you can end up a Dharma. Seriously, like he was miserable and this is why he did what he did because he wasn't comfortable in his sexuality. He killed them because they remind him of what he couldn't be. They were openly gay and he couldn't be that. So that's why he did that, you know. And that's sad to be like that. And um, he says to her, oh, you remind me of my mother and grandmother. Da -da 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 -da. You know, so he hate women. He hated women, you know. And he wanted her to eat the chicken sandwich. The chicken sandwich. <laughs> and she said, I'm not eating that when your place smells like raccoon, you know. So she knew that he was killing people. She knew it. You know, the whole building knew it. So it was just, it was crazy. You know, um, it's just, I can't, I can't, I, it's like, I didn't know that the whole building was black. I had no clue because I'm like, they let that go down and they never stepped to him. It's more of y'all than him. So I know it can't be y'all was scared of him. It's just, I guess people didn't care. I guess they just was like, okay, just moving on with it. Because it's like the screaming, and then he has so many victims. He had like 18 victims or something like that. You know, so, you know, it's just really, really sad. One of the saddest cases. And um, I'm happy justice was served. 
and um, the guy who plays the guy who killed Gama, he's a really good actor. I don't know his name, but he looks familiar. But yes, if you have Netflix, please watch Jeffrey Dahmer. Excellent, excellent, excellent series. When They See Us is number one, Jeffrey Dahmer is number two on my list for the best on Netflix. Niecy Nash. And those are my thoughts.